Today we're witnessing a divine pledge between two people we cherish, Leanne and John. Quite frankly, I've never met such a wonderful couple who show their love so often and so unabashedly. They're a beautiful inspiration to me. So love is not something abstract. It's not words on a list or qualities or cliched statements like never having to say you're sorry. Love needs a setting, a stage, and a home. And that's what John and Leanne have done. They've built a real home in which their love can flourish. My dearest love, Leanne, I'm so happy that this day is finally here and that we have our family and friends here to be part of this new chapter of our lives together. You came into my life at the perfect time. You took a chance on someone completely different and swiped right on my profile. I remember how much you smiled and how much you liked to travel in your profile photos that you shared with me. I also learned how important your faith and your family was to you, and I'm happy that we can have them here today to witness our commitment to each other before God. This is my prayer for you. May God go before you to guide you, be behind you to encourage you, above you to watch over you, and beneath you to support you. But may you discover the presence of God within you each day. Leanne, you are my person, my true love and confidant. No one else has ever loved me so selflessly. But I will never forget the day I fell in love with you at the Lantern Festival. We shared our thoughts and feelings with a level of vulnerability that I've never experienced before I met you. My thoughts that day were of my late mother, and I know you wanted to meet my mom, <clears throat> and she would have loved meeting the one who makes her son happy, someone who loves spending time with my dad, someone who has given this who was given the same name as my sister and someone who can keep up a conversation with my nephew i like to think she is at peace knowing she has left me with a good kind and capable person in your hands because of this i want to be your person your shoulder to lean on your comfort and safe place I vow to be your transportation coordinator <laughs> and listen to your navigation instructions, e even if Google <laughs> tells me something different. I vow to hold your hand wherever we go. I vow to actively listen and pay attention, even when you're talking to me in another room. I vow to put your needs first before all else. I vow to be your one true love and life partner. I love you unconditionally, and all that I am and will be is yours for as long as we both shall live. We're getting closer to the rest of our lives. Love, I choose you today and every day as my partner, best friend, and most importantly, my person. You make me laugh, even when I'm crying. <laughs> You challenge me, and above all, you make me ridiculously happy. You have helped me believe in myself and become the person that I am today. I know in my heart that we can do anything together. I can't wait to learn and grow with you, even as time and life change us both. I hope and pray that we have many adventures and grow very, very, very old together. From this day forward, I vow to make the most of every moment with you. I vow to stand by you, support you, and encourage you in life's wonderful moments and when life is difficult. I vow to be your hand holder for life while you're awake and even while you're sleeping. I vow to appreciate you and take care of you and our fur babies, Mimi and Pinky. I vow to listen to you and to do my best not to interrupt, but I will likely still excitedly ask you a million questions. <laughs> I vow to bring the fun into our life and make you laugh, especially with my dance moves. I vow to spend every day for the rest of my life snothering 
which is snuggling and smothering him, with love and affection. I vow to do everything I can to be the person that you inspire me to be and the person that you deserve. I love you so much. <laughs> I'm incredibly proud to call you my husband. Thank you for marrying me. John and Leanne have made their vows to each other in our presence and in the presence of God with us as their witnesses and have confirmed their promises by the joining of hands and the exchange of rings. Therefore, by the authority given to me by the province of Ontario, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. You may share your first kiss. If this is a dream, then don't wake me up from this beautiful, wonderful thing they call love. If this is a dream, then don't wake me up from this beautiful, wonderful thing. Thing they call. both very much and wish you all the happiness in the world and can't wait for you guys to come visit us in California. Where I first met John, I told him that he should keep the bulletproof vest on when coming over for Christmas dinner. And I think he should still like keep it around, but I think it's safe to lose it now. Like I don't I think I think everything's going well. He's he's part of the family. I'm happy he's here. He's fun. I'm I like the fact that he brings donuts all the time. And I think he's very perfect for Auntie. I don't think she could have found a better person. And I'm really glad that she's happy. She deserves to be happy. Auntie's always been energetic and she's always been fun to be around. She just brings she makes you smile when you're around her. Like John, she like could also maintain like a deep like a conversation which I appreciate. And yeah, I love her. And she's my Tic Tac. Or no, it's not Tic Tac. It's a, is it a Tic Tac? Yeah, it's a Tic Tac. She always had Tic Tac. Dealer. And I love her for that. So she's the best. I'm glad she's happy. Endless kid love from us. Yeah. Endless. Forever. Forever. <laughs> Leanne, I am very happy that you found a guy like John. Um, and I'm super excited for you guys. Uh, you guys make a great couple. So. Congratulations, you both look beautiful today. Uh, that ceremony, I've seen a lot of ceremonies and that one knocked it out of the park. And I wanna say, John, make sure you take Leanne to see every golden hour every night. Leanne's always right. Yes, <laughs> the wife's always right. No matter how much I think I'm right, Leanne is always right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saying Leanne is always gonna be right. Well, you're always right too. Yeah. Leanne both as well. Leanne's. Both the ends will be right. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. Congratulations. We love you. Leanne, you uh, looked so great uh, during the ceremony, and now it is even better. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everyone, for coming and making this evening a great, uh, joyful occasion. All the families and friends. Uh, we are really, truly really grateful for all that you have. You have made it a great success for us. So, Leanne, welcome to the family, uh, officially. Although you were already welcome a couple of years ago, the first impression was terrific. The uh, banana, <laughs> the banana bread was did the, did the trick. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> No, that is real, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a terrific baker. God bless you guys both, and all the best. Thank you. I'm overjoyed that Leanne and John found each other. I know that they will both commit to making their marriage the best that it can be. I now have two amazing son-in-laws that I'm very proud of and love dearly. And I said it at the end of the year. I, I wish for my dear, beautiful daughter and John a long, loving, full life 
full of happiness, few challenges, and that together they will create many happy memories to share for many years to come. Leanna John, women that will always love and support you unconditionally. I love you and God bless you both. With eyes wide shut And we got everything we need And then a little too much I know that you're starving For something you can't touch Would you be honest with me right now? There's something in the undercurrent I can feel it coming up Don't you wanna feel it? Taking over your senses Don't you ever fear it? Technologic defenses Baby, come escape with me I'll come sweep you up for your feet Don't you wanna feel it? Don't you wanna, don't you wanna 